This tutorial shows how to add a ground plane to your design. Ground planes can carry higher current than thin traces, improve noise immunity, and reduce electrical crosstalk. This feature is used to create a solid copper plane on either top or bottom of the printed circuit board. Pins belonging to the ground net will become connected together via the plane. The plane will flow around other copper objects. Our example board is already routed, except for pins of the ground net. On the bottom side of the board, let's add a solid copper plane, connecting the ground net pins. In the left toolbar, click the Polygon Tool button. On the top property bar in the layer drop-down box, choose Bottom. Click a point to set the first polygon vertex. Move the mouse and click at each vertex. Left click. Left click again. Click the polygon to select it. Choose Tools, Ground Plane, Create. Choose Ground in the Net drop down box. Leave the other settings unchanged. Click OK. Our ground plane is ready. The ground net pins are connected to the plane with thin traces to prevent heat dissipation during soldering. Alternatively, you can elect a pin to have a solid connection to the ground plane without thermal traces. Let's redo the ground plane so pin 3 of the header connector has a solid connection to the plane. Click pin 3 to select it. Click the additional properties button. Click solid. Click OK. Now, delete the existing ground plane. Click to select a polygon of the plane. Choose Tools, Ground Plane, Delete. Click OK. Now, create the ground plane again. Click the Polygon Tool button. Draw the polygon. Select the polygon. Choose Tools, Ground Plane, Create. Choose Ground Net. Click OK. Now, the pin 3 connects directly to the ground plane. Creating ground planes is easy in pad to pad.